All right, welcome back. Exciting times. Take a look at this countdown. Sunfest now just two days away. And today, Jasmine Etienne, the spokesperson for the festival, is here to let us know what we can expect this yes. weekend. Good morning, Jasmine. Thank you for coming onto the show and talking to us about this. I was telling you earlier, I'm new to the area. We know we have a lot of people who come to this area. They're new as well. So if you were to talk to me about Sunfest and try to convince me to come, <laughs> what would you say? Well, first, welcome. Yeah. Um, so Sunfest is a waterfront music festival that focuses on the community and the music, most importantly. Um, and we're really excited about it. You know, it's always a good time. You can't beat the views and you honestly can't beat the price. So. Yeah, okay. And of course, we have those headliners that are going to be yes. in town. Talk, talk to me about those who are our headliners this year. So we have three major headliners, right? So we have the Chainsmokers, the Killers, uh, we have Jack Johnson. So we're really excited, but I'm old school. I'm excited about Ziggy Marley yeah. a little. So we're, you know, we have something for everyone. And of course, Flo Rida as well. Absolutely, hey, Flo Rida will be there. About can't forget about that, absolutely. All right, so let's talk about some of the differences this year. So three days of acts, that's important. Right. And what made that change why is that so important for people to know about obviously so they can come out they know which days to come may 5th to the 7th correct so talk about that uh, so you know some fest is listening to the fans and one of the things that the fans stress is that they fo wanted to focus on the music um, so this year we have st staggered schedules uh, so you'll be able to see all of the headlining acts you will not miss anything great we are super excited about this year okay and then also there's a new initiative called BYO right. bottle. <laughs> bring your own bottle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this uh, new this year, you will be able to bring a water bottle, empty water bottle to Sunfest. Um, there will be water stations throughout, so you can stay hydrated and have a good time. All right, and of course, people who might be attending Sunfest, or maybe they're just in the area, they want to know about parking, what is it going to be like downtown? Is it super congested? Should people stay away? If they're not going, what, what should we expect in terms of parking and just mm -hmm. travel downtown? So there are tons of parking downtown, but if you're interested, we do have the Bright Line, we have trolleys, and if you're feeling green, we have a bike rack, so you can park your bike for free. All right, and let's bring up again, if we can, the details of Sunfest so people can look at them, maybe take a picture. While we do that, is there anything else that you just want people to know about this year's Sunfest and just things that they should be aware of? Well, this year we have a lot of fun activations, so I definitely want people to check out the sandbar. So you want to make sure that you come to Sunfest, check out our art installations, and check out all the good things that we have going. All right, Jasmine. Well, we thank you for coming. And look, Jasmine volunteers doing this, <laughs> yeah. so you know her heart is in this. She's speaking from her heart about how great Sunfest is. Again, I've never been, so I'm interested in seeing how this plays out. <laughs> I'm excited for you to come. Thank you for coming by again. We appreciate thank you. it.